Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And I'm here after a long time with Andre. He was out of town, too. So we finally get to hook up. And I was just asking him. I couldn't recall seeing a video, and he hasn't done a video. Soon. Soon they're coming. Soon. But yes. um, a lot of the stuff, and I'd like to reemphasize, because it stuck with me when I first met you and you told a lot of us, it's coming true. Mm. You saw... I you saw uh, the Trump thing happening beginning what month? Uh, Trump's Trump's fortunes really went down in March because of the Saturn switch. Yeah, and that was the logic last year when I was seeing the way things were developing and then March kicks in and pretty much things have really gone down. And as you've noticed, it's not just what you hear about the legal thing moving forward, but then they keep finding the craziest thing, like this latest one with the... Uh, the tape that he made, I, I yeah. gotta tell you, this guy, I mean, <laughs> he's like a career criminal, but it, you saw he him not he close him. Yeah. It's unbelievable. it's unbelievable. Didn't you say, though, the summer was going to be especially hard? Yes, the summer, okay. the summer, and then, so, okay, so two phases. Now it's looking like, remember that people thought maybe Jack Smith would be jumping in at the same time as Fonny, but now the, the, Prevailing wisdom is that it might be a lot sooner, and that's in time for the Saturn station, which is coming up. And Saturn is the planet that, when you've been committing all these crimes and violations, and it's what calls you to account. And it's not particularly well set up in this chart for you know the station happening next month, for example. So that's a problem. But then in August, there's a major switch as well that takes it to a new level. So yeah, the whole thing is. Oh, yeah. August? Well, August is when uh, Fanny's supposed to do, and apparently it's going to involve other states too. Other states as well. That's have. what they announced today, that she was, she was her outreach is even to other states. Maybe she's asking to jump on board. Yeah, I mean, look, I wouldn't be surprised about it being really huge because she was drawing in all the uh, all these guys that were, I think, very stupidly, you know, working with Trump. I wouldn't get near this guy with with a, a hundred foot pole. Never mind a ten foot pole. It's remarkable that all these people, including lawyers, you know, they'll sign papers and oh, man, oh it's crazy. God. It's crazy. And you know, it's like he's such a joke. And the thing is, I can't watch MSNBC or any. Sometimes I go to see what the current news is because they're fo so focused on a voting that's going to happen a year and a half from now. They talk about the Satan. They have him on the news all the time. They talk about Trump. They just yeah. love chaos. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, though, when you when you're running a station, any station that's running twenty four hours, you know, if you're, you're going to repeat some things, and yeah, you're, you're probably right though that they could shift and not be as focused on on it. But I right. think it's because I think a lot of this is because Trump really scares Democrats because he is. You know, he's a full-blooded fascist liar, scoundrel. And so you're not talking about your normal politician. I mean, think about how we used to think of Dick Cheney. We thought Dick Cheney was, you know, Darth Vader. Dick Cheney is a patriot. I mean, he's got Republican ideas, but he pulls for the U.S. Trump doesn't pull for the U.S. Oh, Trump, no. No. Trump would sell the U.S. for, for you know, any amount of money. doesn't matter. Yeah, he'd yeah. sit in Putin's hands and... Completely. Take away our rights, so he wouldn't have it, and so would De Satan. True. Although, did you notice that DeSantis, when Jupiter switched, I, I was talking about that last time we when we talked that when Jupiter entered Taurus in mid-May. Now he started the campaign and he's starting to attack Trump more. He'll probably pick up some. I don't know how much, but I think his numbers will probably improve. Although from that to getting the nomination or especially being successful, that's a totally different story. You know? No, I mean, immigration, the, the stores oh, are empty yeah. in Florida right now. Nobody's going to work there from immigrants that they need it. He's yeah. talking about getting brown shirts as his special forces that work for him. Brown shirts is exactly what the Nazis did. Yeah, I know. I know. No, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy. But the thing is, for Democrats, Always keep remembering the numbers. As long as you have more than 50, and I, I'm thinking it's in the mid-50s, this whole game is a losing game because you got to get over 50. And it's much harder to cheat 
when you're not in control of the government. This is the reason Trump took us to the brink, because he could play around with, you know, the National Guard and this and that and blocking and the FBI was scared because they thought, well, if we do anything, he's going to fire us. And so the whole thing was designed to bring in chaos and maybe get in there. And he wanted to start a war. He wanted to bomb Iran so we would be in war. And he can say, oh, I can't step down. I'm the president. Exactly. Although Millie wouldn't let him do it, which is another thing, you know. Uh, (laughs) I mean, usually, usually when you want to do a coup, you first check with the the army general if he's going to help you. (laughs) Right, exactly. (laughs) Which he said, he had said in the summer, I'm not doing that. So that should have kind of told him, if you create chaos, imagine if they had gone into the capital and someone loses their life, I don't know, some kind of thing. What makes you think that the army would have helped Trump? I don't see that, you know. I think yeah. Millie would have stepped in and said, wait a second, you can't just, you know, break the law like this and decide after you've lost that you're going to make yourself president. You know what? I just got a hit. I just got a psychic hit. I mm-hmm. just could see Millie and some other people talking amongst themselves that if he didn't leave, they were going to remove him. I, yeah. Physically. Yeah. That's that's what I, I just saw that. I could totally, yeah. That would be my feeling. That was the feeling I had exactly. I always thought that the only reason this guy is still around is because those Secret Service guys didn't take him to the Capitol. If they had gone over there and things had gotten worse, probably he would have, he would have served prison time already. Because oh, yeah, he'd already be thing. in the slammer. Yeah. yeah right. Although yeah, that, I don't know why he thought that was going to help him. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's he keeps talking about how smart he is. And how he's going to fix things like this. He had four years of fixing. He didn't fix nothing except yeah. for rich people. For rich people, yeah, in front of himself. Yeah. So there's some disturbing news, though, that the, the Texas legislator has just now re- made it impossible for people in Harris County to vote, which is Democratic, and only that county, not the other counties. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, uh, you can kind of anticipate at least... The way things have gone, and when I match it to the planets and the strong similarity to, in some ways, the Second World War, but even more to the Civil War era, these guys, they're desperate because they know they can't win anymore by actually counting votes. So they're going to try everything. But that's Texas. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, Texas is still Republican territory, right? Yeah. And Florida, too. Yeah. Florida. It's more dangerous if, for example place like uh, Wisconsin, where they didn't make inroads, they lost a major judgeship there. And that's probably going to equalize it. Yeah. So Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, that's where the election is fought. Everywhere else, you know, it's if you gone. live there, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I think it'll eventually improve because all these measures eventually run into a brick wall. But I mean, look what they're doing to women's rights. It's, it's totally insane, you know. And and the eighty percent of the nation is against what they're doing, but they don't care. Well, for their base, right? But just because you make your base happy, then you have to vote, and then and then they're left with the election. They lose it, and then they say, "Oh, there's a conspiracy," and yeah, well, whatever. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Oh, that gal Carrie Lake. She's still not done. So yeah, she, she got to. more information about how her governorship was stolen. She even wears a jacket that says governor. That'll do it. That'll do know. it. It's it. She's the governor of Arizona, and Trump is the governor of Mar-a-Lago. I know that's how. <laughs> but anyway, that Abbott, mm. that Abbott, he's he, they and the guy they just kicked out. What was his name? Their AG. The AG. The AG. You know, I haven't gotten a hold of his data yet, but just on what I see, it looks pretty bad. Because whenever your own party takes those measures, this guy must be a, well, he is. He must be a total crook, just from what he's is out there. Crook, and he still got voted in, probably cheated. But he did say he withheld 2.5 million votes in Texas. Yeah, well, I mean. Uh, Beto probably would have won. Yeah, no, it's, it's true. No, they, they, all of that is true. But uh, Texas, Texas, I mean, look, if Texas goes Democratic, there's no way for the Republican Party to win. It just becomes impossible. Because usually when a, when a state like Texas goes blue, it's like a cascade effect, right? Other states might fall as well, like Ohio maybe or something. Like you get a bigger and bigger 
uh, gap than there is now. But even with what we have now, they got to run the table and it's pretty hard to do, you know, with the, the current states that are in play and stuff. Were you worried about the debt ceiling at all? No. Remember we talked about this and we said that. It, I it saw was it get hair of the chin. I saw it passing. Yeah. And it, that didn't seem to me. There's no way based on where Biden's chart is. It just didn't fit. But there are some uh, thinkers now that are saying McCarthy did pretty well, not based on his chart. I don't know what the problem is going to be, but McCarthy is under a lot of risk till next year. I don't okay. know what they're going to throw in his face or whatever it is, but probably because he's got a good number of people in his party that are you know crazy, basically. They're, they They want things that are impossible. And so I would not be surprised if he got into a jam and... I was talking with someone about this because the, the Democrats could help him out by you kind of deal with him to govern in a bipartisan way. They could keep him in power. But That's my suspicion is- That's what I was is, just talking about the other day. I saw it. I yeah. saw that Biden said to him, if they, because he's saying they'll kick me out and Biden's saying, I'll talk to my people. If anything happens and they kick you out, I'll have them cover your vote. Okay, well, if he, if he cut that deal- then, and I'm assuming he would have included Hakeem Jeffries because if you think about it from the vantage point of like raw politics, the way these guys play, it's actually a better play for Democrats to not support them and let them elect an even crazier person. Yeah, there could be. <laughs> so that, but this is the thing Democrats always do the nice guy routine. You know? They always Why? figure out a way. I know, I know. Instead of nailing people to the wall, I mean, these guys, if they get a chance, they'll stick it to you immediately. Why? Right? Lie, cheat. I was watching that special on Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He mm -hmm. was a Democrat. And when he was one of the times he was running for office, they, the Republicans spread this lie that his dog was left in Alaska and he required a warship to go get the dog. And taxpayers paid millions. And he gave a speech. It was so funny. He said, well, you know, his Scottish dog said, well, that uh, that dog, I never had to go get that dog anywhere. And I want you to know the dog was real put out by the lies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I, I mean, know. but they lied back then in the 1940s. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... Uh, it's they made uh, stuff up. It's totally, it's just the thing that even though people will say, well, look, you support Democrats, you're biased. Thing is, if you look at the patterns uh, Dem Republicans are much more likely to lie and cheat than Democrats. They they just do. And and they started this whole thing. It started on the Reagan where he made the laws, you know, that administration made the laws more lax and it allowed for outfits like Fox to come in and basically paint their own reality because they don't want to have the actual reality because that doesn't suit them, right? Right. So that's not that's not a good thing because then you, you're slowly corrupting the country. You know, when you when you start... Uh, challenging truth doesn't go to a good place. That's the bottom yeah, line. Yeah, and it doesn't last. I mean, already they're having to pay billions in well, fees true, too. for what they did about those Dominion. Another uh, machine is coming up that got all kinds of losses. It's it's not going to be profitable anymore. No, well, uh, I don't know beyond, I'm not sure about uh, other companies, but I know, I know that Fox initial like the chart of the first fox whatever fox still has more money to pay for sure that, okay. that, that chart i don't think there's a way out and it kind of makes sense because now smartmatic can use illegal stuff from the previous oh, case yeah. and a lot of that work is already done right now so, have you taken a look see at tucker carlson recently or no well i had thought when i didn't look recently but i, I have a chart in my mind because i looked at it a lot and the only thing is that i thought Carlson probably wouldn't go away completely. Okay. Uh, but he's he's been quite defanged. And the one thing, the one thing that I don't know, for some reason, it was it was sort of the most obvious thing. Sometimes it happens to me with a chart that oh the, the big thing is in front of me and I'm looking around the sides. And then suddenly I saw, you know, the big elephant, which is that he's got this thing in his chart that relates it to the same as Trump. It's it's the power of women. And when you think about what happened to him in a kind of indirect way, it was the female energy of the universe that took him down because yeah. he got caught. And so that one is really bad because that one moves really, really slow. 
and it's kind of parked there, you know, like like a dead stone in his chart. So he might not get any traction anymore. It's entirely possible that he'll be stuck there for years, you know, until wow. that moves. I heard, and I don't know if it's true, that Fox still pays his his salary or gives him some money, and he they basically shut him down, said he can't do anything while he's still employed with Fox. That's what yeah, I, I I would think that that would be true. Yeah. And and by the way, he's not Carlson's problem isn't money though. So yeah. Uh, but he may be scared that if he if he starts to challenge it, maybe he'll get involved in litigation, you know, and yeah. once you start getting in court, this is the thing about Trump that people think Trump just, you know, laughs at everything. But I think Chris Christie's right. There's no indictment that's a good indictment and there's no lawsuit that is a good thing. You get really distracted, you know, you, your your time gets all swallowed up. It, it's a bad thing. You know, so that's yeah. probably why Carlson is being careful. And I think the Satan is sitting there thinking he's going to make good once Trump goes down. I don't see the Satan getting in at all. That's the psychic impression. He's mean. He's nasty. And the people in Florida don't like him. Yeah, I I, I agree with you because, you know, he's he's now talking like he's saying things like, uh, you know, not directly at Trump yet, but things like, hey, we lost all these elections, which is true. Uh, different things that Trump did that he can criticize. But wait till you get almost any other person who is a reasonable communicator start talking about, well, how are we going to win with you? You know, you uh, reducing women's rights, going after Disney, which is totally against business. What's the yeah. point? What are you doing? No. Why are you talking about woke this and woke that and woke the yeah, other thing? People are Why are you focused? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I, yeah, I, I could, I could totally see it. The main reason is that in the astrology, even if he takes off, takes off into next year, by the middle of next year, the energy switches to all too hard, too negative, because both Jupiter and Saturn are against them. And that's too much. No, Is that me too, Virgo? Uh, yeah. But, but okay, against means when you are, it's like the idea that you're trying to push in the wrong direction. If you're not trying to push in the wrong direction, oh, any, yeah. any cycle is workable because all it means is you get involved in a project, something that challenges you a little more. There's no problem that way. You just patiently work your way through. But these people that try to do the impossible, you know, they're, they they push into a brick wall. That's why they fail. Or they carry baggage from the past, like Trump, where, you know, this thing that he did, like they're saying, well, 2021, he's sitting around waving a piece of paper and saying, uh, you know, this paper, blah, blah, blah. That happened, you know, two years ago. And it's come right. back to haunt them now, you know. So right. In that sense. Um, works. Now, you know, who has been on my mind is Barr. I read cards on him a while ago and it was so bad. I can't remember what you said about him. You know, I, with Barr, you're totally right because he is, Barr has the same uh, compromised chart as MTG. And, and the reason is they're early Gemini and Barr definitely did enough, you know, to face up to something. But I keep thinking that Barr is very slippery and he always goes to the edge, but no more than the edge. And in the end, he's a smart guy. He's mostly talking against Trump. He might get in trouble, but I don't know. I mean, uh, his cards were bad. It might even be illness that I was seeing. It's possible. He it's had possible. so many swords. How's how's MTG? Have you taken a look? See, MTG. He, she's like in the same jam as um, uh, Kevin McCarthy. Vulnerable till next spring. It's the the kind of thing that something can take you down or really push you back. What you do under those cycles is you stay restrained, but she doesn't know how to do that. You know, whenever right. anything comes up, she goes over the top and says something crazy. And so then on cycles like that, one of those things, could, already something happened where a while back, she had to push, pull back pretty hard, but well, probably when she more. said there'll be something in the Congress, what did she say? You have to show... She was hitting that thing and she said, you have to show re the decorum. There'll be decorum in this house. And everybody busted out laughing. You can search it on Google, on uh, YouTube. I know that's pretty funny. She It'll was hitting that, that thing and she said, "Let uh, we, ladies and gentlemen, we want decorum in this house. And everybody, even some of the Republicans were laughing. The miss liar to the president of the United States. I know that's that's where you say, okay, now Marjorie Taylor's scream has spoken. <laughs> I mean, that's hilarious. Marjorie and then Taylor. Lauren Bobart, she got herself a new man. She left her husband. The, the, all these family value people are just, of course, he's a 
a weirdo. He exposed himself to children. So yeah, well, it, it's, it's it's she's it's not going to win. I can tell you right now, she will not win this next time. Well, she came she came really close, really close last time. And the thing is, when you behave the way they do, they're like a calling card, you know, for the following election. I mean, maybe right. not quite as extreme as George, Mr. George Santos, who is probably going to end up in the slammer, but same idea. You know, you lose, you lose votes. You know? Oh, that's right. I haven't heard a thing about Santos in a while. Yeah, it's quiet, but it's not a good scene. That chart, you could just see it coming. You know, when you've got a heavy planet, and planets that are by heavy, I mean they stay in one place a long time. Yeah, so they work their energy and don't tempt the situation like that. No, because then once I mean, how do you get out of it now when you're when the feds probably have you know evidence? What do you do? I'll tell you, I'm so proud of Joe Biden. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I know. They just don't give him enough credit, but let me tell you something. He did that. Yeah, totally. Uh, Joe yeah. Biden. Uh, He's the most underestimated president in history. He's produced all kinds of results. He he's likable. That's the thing. I think Joe Biden is is the politician's worst nightmare because I bet you McCarthy tried to get all Mr. Macho and Biden probably talked him down. And he said, you know, let's talk calmly and you know, like two Irishmen and all that stuff. But yeah, no. and he even said, You do understand if we renege on the ceiling, these things are gonna happen. Right. Yeah. And I will let the American people know that you were the one that said no. Right. Yeah. I mean, and line, you know, he was yeah. scared. McCarthy was scared. He didn't want the ceiling to break. No. Even though he was all, but he didn't want it to break because he knew that the repercussions would be terrible. Right. Right. And I mean, it's curious that you, you, you have a sense that I see this. I didn't know that you picked that up, right? That, that Biden, if, um, if yeah, they point. did a little tit for tat and they pulled. I this is what I'm getting. They sat down and they had other people there. They were going a little back and forth. He said, Look, I'll give you a couple of things so people think we negotiated. But you're not going to touch my clean air. You're not going to touch this or that. And I'll and because he's telling Biden, if I don't forward with this, they're gonna, they're gonna knock me off the chairmanship. He said, I'll tell you what, if they actually they're not talking about it now, but if they do, I will make sure the Democrats have enough votes to keep you in. Yeah, and they guaranteed be, it to them. You know, in a way, if that happened, that would be such a benefit to bipartisanship because he then McCarthy could speak against the radicals in his party and say, you're just being totally unreasonable, you're senseless, you know, self-destructive. And then People would would start to come come a little more together. I, you well, know, I'm, I'm I actually saw about, him but... say something when he was walking back to his office and the news media was there. He said, "We are saving this much money." I can't remember the amount he said. He said, "In all administration, that's the highest." Even when the last person was in office, Trump, and mm -hmm. all the Republicans and Democrats were Republicans, never passed a bill such as this never got that cuts that we got. So yeah. it, he made a comment negative towards President Trump and his administration. Yeah, well, that's the thing that that Biden, uh, to my mind, never gets the credit he deserves. And it's true that mostly it's because he he looks older. You know, now he fell, you know, with the tripped over the sandbag, the sandbag and all that. in his way. I know exactly. So oh, it's, it'd been me that had fallen. I'd been laying there screaming and crying. They'd have to take an ambulance, get my fat ass out of there. <laughs> and he's 82. Did you see him? He got back up. He did. He could tell he was in a little pain. I wait. I don't think he's 82 yet. I think he's, I think he's turning 80. Oh, I thought he was 82. N no, I think he, I'm not sure, but I think he turns 80 in the either this year or next year. He's not there yet. Oh, uh, Jesus. Why am I, I think, playing 82? Or maybe maybe he no, I, I'm I'm not remembering now. I don't have this chart in front of me. I mean, bottom line, he's he's you know, he's reaching 80 one way or the other, and it is quite old. He was born in 42. Was he born in 42? Yeah. Okay, well then he's over 80. Are you sure? Yeah, it says right here. He was born um November 20th, 1942. Okay, well then he's he's 80 already, he's turning 81. Right. Okay. 
Right. So that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah. It says here he's 80. And the other thing is, that's why I heard 82, because when he runs for president, it'll be 82. 82. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and look I, at him. Look how slender. Look at his flat stomach. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And the thing is, a lot of it is the appearance because Bernie, who is almost the same age, has this energy about him that people don't mention his age as much. But Bernie already had a heart attack. So, I know. you know, you got to keep those things in mind. Biden bikes. I mean, that's well off his bike, but still. <laughs> but he's lean and he's. Oh, and totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, compare. By the way, speaking of which, one of the things that I keep saying this, and of course, it hasn't happened yet, except for when he caught COVID. But Trump's biggest vulnerability in his chart isn't even the political or the legal. It's his health. He's got all kinds of swirling health patterns in his chart. And those things, you know, if they're around for too long, sooner or later, they'll collect. So, and also he's under so much stress. True. Very that true. is not good for a person. Very true. So it could be that or it could be the combination. But part of the great vulnerability Trump has is, is, is health, right? And by the way, if he had even, you know, uh, some kind of health thing, even if it was not catastrophic, he might even use that as the excuse if he thinks he's going to lose or something. I've always picked that up. It's, yeah. it's very possible. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Maybe even mental status. Yeah, for sure. I but don't know. Are, are transits that are taking place right now, anything significant? Well, the biggest is the Saturn station, which comes this uh, in June. Uh, like now, we're already there. Uh, uh, another couple of weeks, you know. Can you believe Saturn it's stops. already June? Oh, my goodness. So, so it's like they, there's the way it affects the entire thing and that things tend to wrap up. Like if you remember last year, there was a station of Saturn also in June, which was really hard on Trump because that's when the, um, the committee started to do their thing okay. and, and they put forth all of his stuff. So he had to endure, you know, solid two months. So that's what I'm guessing again, that we're we're right at this doorway where things are going to ramp up, you know, and around Big that. Time. And then, he can't get out of it. And he can't get out of it. And then, of course, for people, individual people, it's the, the people that are born in late February, uh, late uh, uh, August, so the early Pisces, early Virgo, and then uh, late May, which is early Gemini, uh -huh. and late, um, no, late November, which is early Sagittarius. That group, those people, they're under the Saturn energy this month. So the idea is, though, that it's a great time to call a halt and just ask yourself, where to from here? What are you going to do? I doing? Yeah. yeah, because that way Saturn is very useful, because what I notice is, no one likes Saturn, but things never change until Saturn puts pressure on you and says, look, you've been wasting time, wasting energy, whatever. And then that's when you get it together and start to do something. And if something comes up that you don't like for whatever reason, then realize that wait till next month, just wait it out, be patient. Things will improve. It's not, it's not, it's not forever, but it, it, sometimes the discomfort can get you to think this is going to be, you know, an endless problem. I and mean, it's not, it's just, a period. Okay. So, and then that full moon, anything with that moon coming? Well, that, that one is in Gemini Sagittarius. Uh, you know, the, the, we get 13 or 12 or 13 a year. It's just another full moon, but that's the classic where once again, if you know your own chart and it's kind of in the same, in the same axis, it's the same idea as the Saturn, but it brings in people a little deeper into the sign as well. Cause that full moon, I think is around the middle of Gem Gemini and Sagittarius. Okay. So, it triggers that and, uh, you know, affects those people more. But I'll again, tell you what, as an ER nurse, I will, and an L and D nurse, I will tell you that moon. Oh yeah. Made it happen. Sure. We got more traumas on a moon night and we got more babies coming on a moon night, full moon night. For sure. For sure. Like I noticed that I find it to this day and I've been through many full moons and I noticed that keeping my energy steady through the whole full moon is really tricky. Somehow, you know, there's always a point where, in fact, there's this thing where I'll have 
some really high energy hours and then some low energy hours at some point in there. Right, and right. It's pretty much every single time, which you know, it tells you the instability of the of the full moon. Yeah. yeah. So um uh the November of next year, 24. Mm -hmm. Did you look a little bit at those aspects yet or not yet? Yeah, I'm I'm starting to look at it. I don't like to go too far ahead, but yeah, you can see, yeah, definite patterns for sure around, like for example, how it's not helpful to the Santis. And it's not helpful to Trump either, even though some people mention Jupiter at that time is in Gemini. So it's on his, it's actually in his sun sign. And normally you'd think that would be great. But for Trump, that also opposes his moon. So whenever that's the case, it just doesn't work for him because it's involving an opposition as well. Plus the Saturn is involved. It's too complicated. You know, right. Trump's Trump's only entry in his chart from the Jupiter was when he got elected in 2016. And I'm not sure that was a lucky thing when you look at it in the context of where he is today. Because I remember thinking, this guy just walked himself into a major problem, you know. Yeah, because he thinks gonna... he can go in and, and lie and cheat like he did regularly. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the thing is, if you think about it, he was trying to shield himself from the things that Letitia James is doing because those are things he already had even before he went into the presidency and committed more crimes, right? Like right. that $250 million suit is because he was cheating right and left on his taxes. And he knew that he didn't want to be exposed to that. But now as a, to fix it, he committed even more crimes, you know? And then he tells everybody, uh, my my uh, income taxes are under, what did he say? Audit. So I'm not yeah. going to show them. And you didn't show them because you, you lied and act like you didn't make nothing. Oh, oh, and Ivanka Trump changed her last name to Kushner. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. <laughs> I think yeah. she's ratting on her dad. I really do. Nothing There's would already something me. they're on her about. And years ago, I told everybody, and mark my words on this. Years ago, I said, I, a woman will take him down. And we're not talking Fanny. There's women that will take him down. But I felt a particular woman literally breaking his heart. Now, who could break his heart? Ivana, Ivanka. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And uh, I mean, they remind me a lot of that. There's that series, you know, on HBO called Succession. Yeah, and I haven't watched that yet. So the idea is that it's a lot like, it's supposed to be a lot like the the Murdoch family. But if you think about it, it's probably a lot like the Trump family too, because there's this idea, everybody is out to get everybody. And no one is really ever being truthful with anybody. Everything is a manipulation. And to me, the Trump family reminds me of that. You know, everyone yeah. is out for himself or herself. Well, so I feel after she got subpoenaed and she refused, and she'll know she has to show her records, she's trying to make a deal. It would, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. She, because she in the end, she doesn't want to go down with the ship. Yeah. She will I mean, save uh, herself and her children. You know, if what we're hearing about what Jack Smith is doing, he's going in pretty hard. He's going in yeah. pretty hard. So my God, he sure is. It's, and uh, I see him <clears throat> starting charges on one thing. He's not going to wait for the full Monte. <clears throat> he doesn't have to have the other stuff. He wants this right now because mm -hmm. that he does, you know, the voting's happened and he doesn't want them to complain. It's, you know, blah, blah, right. blah. So he's going to start on that because that's a traitor. That's a straight up trade. Can you believe trying to start a war in Iran? Years ago, when I was reading, I could see the bigwigs talking about him sitting around a oak table. And they're saying, that guy, we got to take the new codes out of his hands. He's he's crazy. Yeah. And then yeah. I saw that he was trying to think of some sort of war he could start. So right. he wouldn't be taken out of office. I'm telling you, he was thinking that. And right. this is what happened too. Mark my words, and I, I, I'm telling you, I see yeah. it as clear yeah. as day. The big wigs told him, or it, maybe his people told him, but the big wigs told somebody, if he doesn't leave, we will take him out forcibly. Because yeah. he would have stayed there if yeah. they all said yes, sir. Oh yes, well I'm just going to sit here and I'm just going to wait. Just let him try to take, and then you know. The Secret Service and everybody said, sir, we're going to have to remove you. Well, you know, he's counting on he's counting on the fact that no matter what happens to him, he can always say something, you know, about, about what it means. But 
you know, I mean, you can push that only to a certain point and then uh, it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. For one thing, it, uh, that it will take your voter level down some. So then you give openings to others for one thing. And for another, once you start getting into matters of espionage, that's kind of getting pretty risky, you know, because Going the government has to pursue it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. totally. And, you know, a lot of these are rednecks. These are people that believe in the flag and the country and him being a traitor doesn't swallow well. Well, in a way, though, that that's really the, the sickness in the U.S. right now. It's remarkable because to think that these people would side with someone like like Trump or someone like Putin it's just totally heartless and ignorant and, you know, it just makes zero sense, but it's the era Listen, that we're he's in. Been, he was on the phone. I think McCarthy stopped taking his calls. He wanted this to shut down. He wanted it to shut down. He sure. wanted us not to pay the debt ceiling. Let it, let it fall. Let it fall. He would have loved that. Even Putin was gleeful. If they fall, then it's going to mess up their money to send to the Ukraine. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah, totally. totally. See, this is the thing, though. I, to me, I would be making really aggressive ads for the election. Pay, you know, show him saying that that ceiling should never be used. Then show him saying, well, now you should do it. And they say, what kind of person does this? What kind yeah, of person? Yeah, he said, because I'm not president anymore. So like, I is this say. Make America great again or make America fail again? What are you talking about? This is MAFA, not MAGA. Come on, it's ridiculous. It's, you, you should not be doing that. It's it's the it's the mark of a traitor. You, I agree with you, 100%. Yeah, 100%. So we'll see how America swallows that. Well, obviously, he'll still have followers, but it's, see, it's, it's the thing that in elections, when they're this tight, you can't afford to lose anybody. And people that know how this works will say that the suburbs in places like Atlanta, Pennsylvania, they don't like this kind of thing. They don't no. like the untruth and no, men, men, women, they vote against you and then then you can't win. Even if all those radicals and people in, you know, that rural people will, will vote for you, but you lose too many in the city. Well, he asked people to come out because when he got um, arrested or I don't know, or they, I can't remember, but he said for people to come out. And what was there, six people showed up at Mar-a-Lago? There was one guy. That, that was covered. good news because it wasn't marching in the street. People, Trump, Trump. There was not. He really wants that, but it's not happening. No, it's not because the, this is the thing that if law enforcement is operational, people know now. I mean, I had to laugh when in that New York court there was one guy, a Trump supporter, and he was dressed, you know, covered so you couldn't see anything because he didn't want cameras to catch his face because he knows that all those other people are in jail because they. You know, they took pictures of themselves. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, uh, brilliant criminals, you know, go in and. Uh... <laughs> I'll tell you, they're getting through that Proud Boys crowd and everybody else. They're plucking them away one by one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I this is the thing that, that the people that are thinking of doing, uh, of breaking laws are seeing that. And, right. You know, right. and so that's the logic that now. Trump can say things like the election is rigged and this and that. You can say whatever you like, but it's it's not an easy not an easy task. Right, so, right. I mean, well, my so. friend, are you going to be open for me next week? Yes, I'll be here. I'll be on your show. We can definitely continue, and I'm sure. I thought I posted a thing to ask questions, and I uh, I'm so sorry. I'm a little. Well, I think I think we've covered pretty well. The only thing I can think of, the only thing I would finish with is I don't know if you saw that another scoundrel who's been in Congress so many years and he continues to be nothing but a scoundrel is that Chuck Grassley character. He's yeah. this guy. He yeah. was there. You know, when, you know what they do? Whenever there's bad news, they immediately go on Fox News and make up something to, yeah. to tell. So the, a while back, he was the guy that went on Fox News and he said, the IRS is going to come to your door with AR-15s and they're going to take your money and whatever, which was completely made up. It's crazy stuff. And and now I think they know they, they might be suspecting that Trump is about to be nailed because they're they're trying to pin something on Biden. So he went on Fox News. You know that thing where they had an informant and he disappeared? Yeah. And they're trying to get Biden. the FBI to give them the papers. And he said, We don't care. Even if the what we know there's no evidence, we still want to put it out there. So in other words, you guys are a bunch of liars. But That's I heard the saying. FBI is going to meet with them now. To well, put then, a, to put a not, stop to this nonsense. Well, is that is that what you're seeing? Because I'm that's hoping that's what was just on uh, one of those programs. 
Well, that would be good because that guy, man, I'm telling you. They're going to clear it up. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, my friend. Bye, everyone. You had a nice holiday. It was. It was good. Mine was back to work. I, I worked. All right, sweetheart. You take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.